Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage tonight at a height of six feet, one inch. His weight, 185.8 pounds. He trains with Dungeon of Doom, and he fights out of Gastonia, North Carolina. And tonight, in the Aries Fight Series cage, he makes his amateur debut. I present to you, Austin. Practice Across the cage and fighting out of the red corner. He steps into the cage tonight with a record of two wins and one loss. His height, five feet, eight inches, and his weight, 185 pounds. He trains with Lawrence Bird Combat Club and he fights out of Florence, Alabama. They call As always, Jeff Jankowski brought some fans with him from Lawrenceburg. This is going to be an exciting one. Jeff Jankowski, no glove touch. He says, let's make this thing happen. Big Luke, we are ready. Oh, man, immediately going for that knockdown. Jeff Jankowski has got that power. Within 10 seconds of this first round, he's got him on his back. From the moment Jankowski got set in that position, I thought he oh, might Oh, man, up. those... Hits are so powerful. I mean, that's a true, that's the juggernaut. That's the juggernaut. Has, he has some power in those punches. He really does. He's, you hear him yelling at him. Even those short ones have some power. Jeff's got his head right against the chin of You know, in, in tape study, Austin I will say Linker. this. I know Austin's not where he wants to be right now. But he's he, been here before? Yeah, this, okay. is kind of, this is kind of how it goes for him. Not in all his fights, sometimes he front runs, but he's no stranger to hardship. It's just, it might be a different level when it's the juggernaut, you know? Sure. Jankowski had so much momentum uh, before he had to step away and, and step out of that title fight. I just think that he's had enough, and he wants to leave no doubt. He is the premier fighter at 185 yep. or 170, wherever he chooses to take it. I mean, they are right in front of us here in Houston. We are feeling every blow. Yeah, and Jeff is landing these. I mean, there's not many that he is missing. And it's not a great position for Jeff, but man, he is causing some damage here. Linker is intelligently defending. He seems to have shaken the cobwebs out from the initial he punch. He's doing a good job at framing or sometimes grabbing Jeff's hand, but he's got to figure out how to get out of this position if he wants to make it to the second round. And I mean, this is the best shape we've ever seen Jankowski in. You know, I know yeah. he was he was really uh, pushing for that 170 title, but he looks comfortable here at 185. Austin has some submission attempts here, and I'm not seeing him use any of them. Those are heavy ground and pound shots. Yep, he got, I mean, he's, he's settling into almost two minutes here of being on his back, taking these ground and pound shots. Linker, oh has man, to there that for one another was minute. loud. The juggernaut is causing some damage here for Austin. He is not wanting to let him up either. All right, side control now for Jankowski. Yeah. Oh man, that's it, he taps, oh, wow. he taps, he taps. I mean, there was just Wow. Going. Houston, what do you think prompted that tap? I really do he think had it that might have been the He had head damage. and shoulder so strong against the neck, and I think he was so exhausted, I think that was it. Let's I don't know if it was a hard and clear submission. I think that right there, you see he's got his head and arm against him. Oh, he just as soon leans as he up the angle and up. leans, and that's it. Man, oh man. Almost the Von Flew, just kind of a different angle than you see that normally be. Exactly uh, right. You see you see Jeff Jankowski ask his coach, is that what you wanted to see? He said, yep, that's it. Man, textbook for Jeff Jankowski, the juggernaut, as he improves his record to three and one. Impressive victory here from Jeff Jankowski, taking the call and answering it in the first round. You know, he's three and one. He had to step out of a title fight. Now he's up in a, a higher weight class, but I'm pretty sure, you know, he wants to compete at 170. But when you look that good at 185, yeah. you really can't argue with the I don't know why he doesn't stay at 185. It seems to be 
a strong, healthier uh, weight form. I should say healthier, but see, he can stay so strong at 185. Well, Why not stay there? In our next uh, Aries 22, you know, the man he was supposed to fight at 170, he's fighting at 155. Right, it's yeah. Very, so it's sort right. of a, a shoots and ladders game at the moment. But mm -hmm. the point is, Aries Fight Series has got some bad boys from 150 yeah. all the way up to 170 to 185. We got a great ring announcer giving us the official decision right now. Lance Ladies Green. and gentlemen, your referee, Big Luke Wilson, has brought a stop to this match. Two minutes and eight seconds into round number one. Your winner, by way of submission due to head and arm choke, out of the red corner, Jeff, the juggernaut, Jake. Yeah, I think that was more of a Von Blue choke than it was a head and arm. Yeah, so. you heard.